Now, the wind is up a bit today. You can see that aspirin tree quaking about five to 10. So not uh, ideal for shooting groups, but I'm not trying to shoot groups. I'm just trying to show you guys that perhaps we can start rethinking the speeds that we've always shot 22 at. The smooth twist barrels, we've kind of always put them at 880 to uh, 900, something like that. And now I've been trying experimenting lately with, with higher speeds. And um, the way my gun's tuned, the highest I can get it today was about 935. But I was over at 100. And uh, have a look at this footage over at 100. Pretty cool, right? Uh, nice and stable. That was one big, long, continuous shoot, too. I slowed it down so you could see the projectile travel through slow motion, in slow motion. <laughs> so you can get a, so you can see that it actually is stable, traveling at 935 feet per second. Yeah, the 100 yard was so busy that I didn't even have time to like go down and hang up a target. I just decided to plank away at some bits and pieces of uh, broken uh, close up on the ground. So yeah, I, I was shooting at little chunks of stuff about yay big. Came over here to the 50, which seemingly is the range least used by everyone. Handguns at 25, rifles at 100, and 50 usually is all mine. So we're at 50 here, and I'm just gonna show you guys, uh, I don't know, five or six five shot groups across my target. Rethinking the 22, all right. Hey, this is the future right now. <laughs> I was actually just finished. Um, shooting in there and something occurred to me as I was opening the gate to the range. You see what I was shooting at at 100? That was about six and a half mil dots. But that scope is true at 10x, not 20x where I was shooting. So the hold was actually about three and a quarter mil dots. That's a testament to how fast that pellet was screaming down there. Normally the hold for uh, 22 caliber is between three and a half to four mil dots. And I'm holding at three and a quarter. This is what we're looking at here for 935 feet per second. All right, back to the present. <laughs> and when I first got in here to the 50 yard range, I got absolutely <laughs> attacked by two barn swallows. I don't see any signs of mud on the walls anywhere here that they're building their nest, but clearly uh, they had staked this place out and I was uninvited. So after about five minutes of karate chopping at swallows, <laughs> they finally buzz buzzed out of here and left me alone. And we're gonna do these groups just in real time because there's gonna be a lot of shots. If the pellet's stable flying out to 100, clearly it's stable flying out to 50. I just want to show you guys that, uh, yeah, it's the real deal. So, not in slow motion this time, just go real time across the board. You'll get to see me through this camera and uh, my side shot GoPro camera. Man, you spend time shooting those 30 cals and uh, those tins go pretty fast. <laughs> One tin of 22 is more than three times more a tin of 30 cal. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a uh, five five shot groups across that target and what we're probably going to see is that moving around as the wind does different things the groups are going to start moving and shaking so i'm going to haul butt just as fast as i can here uh, to try to keep the groups as tight as possible ready here we go where are you there you go that's a nice start right there I can't remember where the, where the number was. Yeah, a little bit of push down now. That wind comes over the top, yeah. My barrel is a 700 millimeter, 22 caliber, smooth twist X uh, barrel with the standard uh, FX moderator on the end there. And then back up when that wind shuts back off.
Is that wind again? Can you hear it? Not here yet? Okay. Not too bad. But what we're, what we're seeing is, as the wind rips over the top of this bunker, it causes down and up thrust. I can see the, like the, the weeds, herbs on the side, getting, doing this, getting shoved down. So that's what we're seeing mostly is the, is the, the groups are moving up and down. The groups are moving up to down from that uh, 90 degree wind to our butt. Let me go grab that so I can show it to you more closely. Be right back. Here they go. There's our groups. Um, yeah, I guess even smaller than I thought. Here's the back side of that paper. Um, everything looks to be, ah, this one right here might be a smidge over a half inch. But everything else, that's a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch, somewhere in there. Yeah, good groups for the wind. I'm happy with it. Just goes to show you that um, every time the industry comes up with a new innovation, new development, it's up to us to get out there and try to test what we thought were the norms. I'm shooting at 935 feet per second today and doing pretty well doing it. I would go hotter, but the gun is tuned so that I can only get to a max of 935. I never thought I'd need to go higher than that, but yeah. I think right now my reg is set at, yeah, about 100. Maybe just a touch over, which gives me so many freaking shots. <laughs> Uh, I actually haven't even tested over the crony. I think it's somewhere in the vicinity of like 150 plus shots. Might be wrong, don't quote me on that, but I know I at least put 100 into one piece of paper, probably 120 or 130, and I'd only used up about 75% of my air. So uh, yeah, I get a boatload of shots with the reg set down that far. But if I want to test higher speeds, I've got to tweak that up. So yeah, as I continue to, to push the, the speed up on this, I'll let you know when I find out. That's it. See you later, guys.